Hello, we are discussing about GATE 1992 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is second one mark question came in 1992. A PN junction with a 100 ohm resistor is forward biased so that a current of 100 milliampere flows. If the voltage across this combination is instantaneously reversed to 10 volts at T is equal to 0. The reverse current flows through the diode at T is equal to 0 is approximately A 0 milliampere, B 100 milliampere, C 200 milliampere, D 50 milliampere. Given that one a PN junction with a 100 ohm resistor is forward bias such that a current of 100 milliampere flows. At T is equal to 0, the voltage across this combination is instantaneously reversed to 10 volts. So we need to calculate at T is equal to 0, what is the reverse current flowing through the diode? Whether it is 0 milliampere, 100 milliampere, 200 milliampere or 550 milliampere. Correct option for this question is B, 100 milliampere. Look at the details. Before T is equal to 0, that is T less than 0, the diode is forward bias such that current of 100 milliampere is flowing and the combination is nothing but diode along with a resistor. So this is what the diagram we can draw. A diode in series with a 100 ohm resistor, it is forward bias with an external voltage such that the current is nothing but 100 milliampere and at T is equal to 0, voltage is instantaneously reversed to minus 10 volts such that diode is reverse biased. So now the diagram we can write. Instead of plus V, we are going with minus 10 volts. So the polarity implies minus is connecting towards positive term uh, P side of the diode. So diode is now reverse biased. Now the current flows from N to P current flowing through this diode at T is equal to 0. So the voltage across the diode is changed instantaneously such that it is moving from forward bias to reverse bias. This question is based on the diode switching characteristics. So first we will see a small detail about the diode switching times. Later we will solve this question. Diode switching times. When diode is instantaneously switched from forward bias to reverse bias, it needs some time to return to reverse bias. Meanwhile, the diode behaves as short circuit for a short duration, even under reverse bias. This is due to accumulation of stored excess minority carrier charge when the diode is forward biased. So whenever diode has to change instantaneously from forward bias to reverse bias or reverse bias to forward bias, it won't happen instantaneously which requires a small amount of time and during that time the diode is going to be acting as short circuit even under reverse bias. Short circuit is nothing but a large current flows. That current is going to be decided by the voltage at that instant and the resistance in that circuit and this time whenever it is changing from forward bias to reverse bias it is composed of two different times one is nothing but storage time the other is transition time storage time is the time period for which the diode remains in conduction state even in the reverse direction that is the diode is going to be still on even though it is came into reverse bias reverse direction during this time excess minority carrier charge on both sides of the junction is removed Transition time is the time elapsed in returning back to reverse bias completely. So we can define the entire time as the time required for a diode to change from steady state forward bias to steady state reverse bias is called as reverse recovery time which is the sum of storage time and transition time. Similarly if a diode is changing from reverse bias to forward bias that time is called as forward recovery time but forward recovery time is very much small compared to the reverse recovery time so diode switching times are dominated by reverse recovery times 
that is when the diode is changing from forward bias to reverse bias so now in the question we are going to calculate the current at t is equal to zero only that is nothing but we are in the initial state of changing from forward bias to reverse bias just we are entering into the region of storage time during storage time even though the diode is going into reverse direction a large current flows because diode still act as short circuit so by that time the current is going to be calculated the voltage present at that instant and the resistance of that circuit so now the diode is acting as short circuit total resistance is only 100 ohms and the applied voltage is minus 10 volts so IR is equal to VR by R so 10 by 100 ohms which is nothing but 100 milliamperes so this current is flowing from N to P because diode is acting as short circuit there is no resistance is taken so 10 volts by 100 ohms is nothing but the reverse current which is flowing so the right option for this question is B 100 milliamperes thank you